Hi there, and thank you for joining me. So today's class is going to be vinyasa. So I would like us to start at the top of the mat. Take as much time as you need to, to get settled, to wiggle around, to tuck anything in, to tie off any loose ends before we come into our practice. Wiggle around on your ankles as much as you need to, come onto your toes, onto the heels, maybe bend your knees a little bit, and just spend some time just wiggling around, maybe moving your shoulders or your spine or your neck, just anything that feels like it needs to move. And then once you're done with your wiggling, done with your shifting, come to stillness. Take a few deep breaths, a few deep exhales, maybe some sighs, maybe even let your eyes shut just for a couple of brief breaths. And just get a sense of how your body feels, how your breath feels, the ground or the mat underneath your feet, the temperature of the room, any sounds you can hear. And then when you're ready, we're going to take a big inhale, reach your hands up towards the ceiling, and then bend your knees and fold everything forward. So have a really soft bend through the knees here and of course grab opposite elbows if that feels good or just let your hands dangle. But let your head and your neck relax here as well. I can't quite just because I have the microphone and I don't want to make any ruffling sounds but let your neck and your head relax as much as you possibly need to. And from here I want you to pedal your legs out so maybe bend one leg straighten the other and then just slowly move between each side. So it's almost like you're sticking one side of your butt back a little bit further than the other and getting a little bit of a deeper stretch into the sides of the glutes and maybe even into the sides of the hamstrings down towards the feet and just continue to just move from side to side here and then when you're ready come back through center I want you to find a halfway lift so think about lifting everything away from the hips as much as you possibly can you can have a little bend through the knees here as well you can even use your hands to push your thighs back slightly or even have your hands a little bit further down Take one more big inhale here, and on your exhale, plant your hands down. Now, when you step your right foot back, drop the back knee down towards the ground. We're going to come up for a little lunge. So bring your hands up towards your hips, pull your front foot back while pushing it down, and drive through the back toes. Okay, so I want you to have your back toes tucked within this position. Try and keep your hips nice and square, and then let everything start to sink forward. Now, if there's space to, try and tilt your pelvis underneath you. So almost like it's trying to face further forward as opposed to down. Now your hands can stay on your hips or you can reach them up towards the ceiling. Shoulders slightly soft but still reaching up and just breathing into all of this space on the sides of the ribs. Okay, when you're ready, bring your hands back towards your hips, straight in your front leg pull your toes back and kick down through your front heel and then start to gently fold forward. When you're ready, come all the way back up and come back into your lunge position. So bend the front knee, lunge down into your hips as far as you can and then come back into your half splits. So straighten your front leg, pull the toes back, kick into the heel, fold forward and then come all the way back up. One more time, lunge into your front leg then straight in your front leg, pull the toes back, kick into the heel, reach as far forward with the chest as you can, and then come all the way back up. Now lunge back into your front leg, plant both hands down on the inside, wiggle your left foot out towards the side, tuck the back toes and lift the back leg, and then lower it back down. And we're just going to do a couple of repetitions of this. So drive down through the hands, lift that back knee, and then lower it back down and lift, and lower, lift, and lower, and lift and stay here, gaze forward, squeeze the front knee in towards the shoulder, and keep pushing down through the hands, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then step back to a high plank. So maybe wiggle the left foot out towards the side a little bit more to create some space, and shift forward and then lower down. 
Now unhook the toes, squeeze the elbows in and drag the hands back. As you push through the pelvis, peel the chest up and forward. Exhale to lower. Come up two more times just like that. Squeeze everything in. Lift everything up and forward. Big exhale to lower. One last time, big inhale to lift up. Big exhale to lower. Then tuck the toes, come up through the knees and come into downward dog. So lift the hips, push down through the hands. Maybe have a soft bend through the knees here. And of course, feel free to pedal out the legs, just like you've done in that forward fold before. Keep driving down through the shoulders. And remember your legs don't have to completely straighten here whatsoever. They can have a, keep, have a little bit of a bend through them the entire time. But just make sure that we're working the heels down towards the ground to help facilitate that stretch through the back of the legs. And when you're ready, take as many steps as you need to to come back to the top of the mat, finding that halfway lift again, and then fold back down. Push through your feet, stand up tall, put your hands up towards the ceiling, then release your right hand down towards your side, lift up and over towards the right. Come back to your center, reach both hands up, and this time left hand's gonna come down, right hand's gonna reach up and over. Come back through center, reach both hands up, bend the knees, and then fold. Find your halfway lift. And this time you set the left leg back, drop the back knee down towards the ground for your low lunge. Same thing as last time, squeeze everything in towards the middle and then bring your hands to your hips. Okay, maybe tilting the pelvis underneath you if there's some space for that, increasing the stretch on that in the front of that back leg. Hands can stay here, or you can reach them up towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply into the belly and into the sides of the ribs. And then bring your hands back to your waist and work towards straightening your front leg, kicking down through the heel, pulling the toes back, and then start to travel as far forward as you can and folding down. Same thing as the other side, come all the way back up, lunge back into your front leg, then straighten your front leg, pull the toes back, kick down through the heel and reach your chest forward. Come all the way back up, lunge forward, straighten your front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, reach the chest forward, fold down, pull the toes back and come all the way up and reach forward. Okay, one last one. Straighten your front leg, pull the toes back, kick down through the heel, reach your chest forward, and come all the way back up, and lunge into your front leg again. And bring your hands down to the inside of your leg. Maybe wiggle the right foot out towards the side if you need to create some space. Now drive down through the hands, so keep the arms nice and straight, shoulders broad, and maybe just gaze just ahead of the mat. Keep the back toes tucked, and I want you to straighten the back leg by lifting the back knee, and then lower it down. Then lift, then lower. Lift, lower, lift, and lower one last time. And lift and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Step back to your high plank, wiggle your right foot out to the side if you need to create some space. And then stay in your high plank this time, okay? Send the heels away, round through the upper back as much as you can, and tuck your pelvis underneath you. And from here, I want you to shift as far forward onto your toes as you possibly can, and then shift as far back as you possibly can. Staying as rigid as possible. Shift forward, and back, kicking the heels as far away from you as you can, and shift as far forward onto your toes one last time, and lower down. Perfect. Now untuck the toes, 
squeeze the elbows in, drag the hands back. Three rounds of cobra at your own pace. Inhales will lift you up. Exhales will lift you back down. Or lower you back down, sorry. Once you've done your three rounds, make your way back to downward dog. Take two more breaths in your downward dog. Then come forwards if you're coming into a high plank position and then drop your knees down towards the ground. So coming into a tabletop. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, your hips over the tops of your knees. And from here, I want you to extend your left leg back. And before we move any further, I want you to keep your torso really nice and rigid. So pull the low belly in, cinch through the sides of the waist, and maybe even round through the upper back slightly. And before we add on, lift the back leg. Okay, so either kicking the heel up towards the sky or pointing the toes, but keeping that length and keeping everything stable through the core. You're welcome to stay here or extend your right hand out towards the side, maybe even reaching it out in front of you. Okay. I'm keeping it here, and then reaching your hand out towards the side so the palm faces down, and then spinning it to reach back so the palm faces in. Then all the way back from when, where we came, so turn the palm facing down, reach it forward again so the palm faces in, and then back the same way. So palm faces down, and then reach it back. One more time, reach it forward and then plant it down. Keep your left leg lifted and then reach it out towards the side. Okay, so pushing down through the foot, untuck the back toes and then sink your hips as far back towards that foot, as far back towards that heel as you can. Come forward again, keep driving down through the left leg and then sink your hips back. Come forward, plant your left hand down in the middle so a little bit further in towards the midline. Push down through the left hand and reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. If that feels quite a lot for your shoulder, you can just bring your right hand towards your hip and open up towards the side. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, come back down. Bring your left foot and your left knee back underneath you. And then we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So coming back into your tabletop, Cinch through your core and through your waist. Your right foot's gonna step back. And then either pointing the toes or kicking the heel up towards the ceiling, having the toes flexed. But make sure you're staying nice and rigid through the core. Okay, maybe rounding through the upper back slightly. Now you're welcome to stay here or reach your light, left hand, sorry, out towards the left. Maybe even reaching it out and forward so the palm faces in. Keep the glutes engaged. And then with your left hand, we're just gonna do the exact same as the other side. So reaching it all the way back. So the palm face is down and then in, and then the same thing again. So just rotating the shoulder, keep reaching out. Imagine you can reach your left hand as far away from your right foot as possible. And then reaching it back in the same direction. Last one, reach it as far forward as you can. Palm face is in, keep reaching. And plant your hand down, keep your le right leg lifted and reach it out towards the side. Plant your right foot down, untuck the back toes, and then start to sink your hips back towards your left heel. Just as far as it's comfortable. Then come forward again, and one last time, sink your hips back. Come forward, and bring your right hand a little bit closer in towards the midline, and then reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. So twisting open towards the left hand side. And remember that top hand can just, just come to the left hip just to help twist everything open for a bit more support. And when you're ready, bring both hands down underneath you, shoulders stacked over wrists, tuck the back toe and bring both legs back underneath you. Now we're gonna lift back onto down, into downward dog, sorry. So push through the hand, lift the hip. Remember, you can have a bit of a bend through the knees. 
Take two full breaths here. Then when you're ready, step forward, binding your halfway lift again, and then fold everything back down. Push down through both feet and reach your hands up towards the ceiling. And then release your right hand down towards your side, lift up and over towards the right with your left hand. Nice big side stretch. Come back through center, left hand down, right hand's gonna reach up and over. Then come back through center, reach both hands up, and then reach your hands behind you, either grabbing your wrists or working to grab opposite elbow behind you. Then I want you to step your right foot back. Now we're gonna come into pyramid pose. So I want you to have a slightly shorter stance than maybe if you were coming into a warrior pose here. Push down through both feet and try and keep the hips nice and square. Lift everything up out the waist and keep thinking about rolling the shoulders back, reaching the chest as far forward as you can before starting to round or fold down. Be really nice and strong through the legs. And just be aware if you feel like one shoulder dropping a little bit more to one side and just try and keep everything nice and level. Take one more big breath in and come all the way back up. Step your right foot forward and then step your left foot back. So just swapping sides. Push down nice and strongly through both feet, hips nice and square, lift up at the waist and reach as far forward as you can. And then start to fold or round down. Remembering to breathe deeply and smoothly. When you're ready, take one last breath and come all the way back up. Step forward and release your hands down. Okay. And take a wide step out to face the long edge of your mat and have your toes facing in slightly, your heels facing out. And then I want you to bring your hands to your hips. Okay. Lift everything up out your waist, keep your legs nice and engaged and then fold forward. Your hands can stay on your hips or you can release your hands down towards the ground. You can grab opposite elbow. Or maybe if there's a lot of space here, you can turn your hands to face through your legs and then start to walk your hands through. Maybe using it to pull yourself a little bit closer to the ground. But just wherever you are, remember to breathe evenly and be in a space that you can still breathe quite deeply in. Don't let your breath escape you here. Take one more breath in, nice big sigh, then slowly bring your hands back to your hips and come all the way back up. Okay, your right hand is gonna reach down towards your right thigh and you're gonna reach your left hand up and over. So maybe even just reaching up towards the ceiling or you can start to trace your right hand down your leg and reach your left hand up and over, just like that side stretch that we've done before. Take one more breath here and come back through center. Reach both hands up and then we'll swap sides. So left hand's gonna come down, right hand's gonna reach up and over. Perfect, now come back through center. Reach both hands up and then reach them out towards the sides. I want you to turn your right foot to face away from you and keep your back foot where it is. And your back hand is gonna to come to your hip and we're gonna come into triangle pose. So lift up out the waist. Reach as far forward as you can with your front hand or your right hand and bring your hand down anywhere on this leg. So you can even come down towards the thigh, you can bring your elbow down or just rest your hand anywhere on the leg. Alternatively, you can hover the hand off and just gently push it against the shin to twist open and maybe reach the top hand up towards the ceiling. Alternatively, you can just bring your hand to your hip and keep it there. Your gaze can be down towards the ground or it can be up towards the ceiling or really just anywhere that your neck feels comfortable. So thinking about rolling this top shoulder back and lifting everything up and away from the hips. Lengthening out through the sides of the waist. Take one more breath here. And come all the way back up. Reach your hands out towards the sides and square your feet off. Bring your hands back towards your hips. 
lift everything up out the waist and then fold down, coming back into your wide forward fold. Take one full breath here, nice big sigh, and come all the way back up. This time turn your left foot to face away from you, hands reaching out, back hand comes to the hip, lift up out the waist and reach forward for triangle pose or trikonasana. Hands just like the other side, you're gonna come down anywhere on this leg, twist the upper body open, and maybe just keep the hand on the upper hip or reach it up towards the ceiling. Same thing with the gaze, of course, gazing down towards the ground or up towards the top hand. But try not to stress about where your hand lies or how far away you are away from maybe the foot or the ground. Just be somewhere that you can breathe in, somewhere that you can feel a stretch that's enough. Don't need to be always striving for more and more and more. Just be content with where you are at the moment. As hard as that can be sometimes. Take one more big breath in and slowly come all the way back up. Put your hands out to either side, square your feet off, move your hands back to your hips and then step back to the top of your mat. Wiggle out your ankles as much as you need to. Maybe come right into the tips of the toes and then onto the heels. Just getting some blood flowing between the ankles again. Okay. Now keep your hands on your hips, shift your weight into your left foot, keep your gaze really nice and focused and take a big inhale in, a big inhale, or a big exhale, sorry, out. <sighs> Roll your shoulders back slightly, then start to slowly lift your right knee in towards your chest. Okay, now keep it here, keep the toes flexed as if they're pulling back towards the knee, and maybe have a little bend through that left leg. I want you to slowly shift your weight forward as you extend your right leg behind you for warrior three. Once again, have a little bend through this front leg first. Point the toes or keep them flexed. It's flex, sorry, it's entirely up to you. But kick the heel away and up so you're activating that glute. Okay, maybe keeping the shoulders rolling back or you can bring your hands into a prayer position. You can bring your hands down towards your thigh and just gently push. So lift everything away from the hips and get some broadness through the collarbones and through the chest. Once you've got that engagement through the legs, maybe straighten your front leg out. You don't need to, but you can if you like. Options here to extend your hands out in front or out towards the sides. Okay, whatever you would prefer. Now we're gonna come out the same way that we came in. So bend the left leg, left leg, sorry. Bend the right knee, bring it all the way forward. Reach the right knee in towards the chest and plank it down. Give your left ankle a little bit of a roll around. And then we're just going to swap onto the other side. So shift your weight into your right foot, hands on the hips, shoulders roll back, breath steady. Full breath in, big breath out. Then slowly start to lift your left knee in towards your chest. Toes flexed. Find your balance, find your stability. Keep your breath steady and start to bend your right knee ever so slightly and start to shift your weight forward as you kick your left heel back. Coming into your warrior three on your right leg. Okay, so either toes flexed or pointing away from you, but keep this right knee bent slightly. Keep lifting that left leg up, engaging the glute, maybe keeping the shoulders rolled back or same as the other side, of course. Oh, it's okay if you wobble, <laughs> don't worry. You can always bring your hand down to support you. Hands can come into prayer position. You can reach them out towards the sides, or you can reach them forward. I always hate reaching my hands forward because as you can see, I start to wobble all over the place. Keep your breath nice and steady. And if you lose your balance, don't worry too much. If you're feeling nice and stable through that standing leg, you can start to straighten it and maybe bring your hands down to your thigh. Now we're going to come out the same way that we came in. So bend the front leg, bend the back leg, slowly come all the way back through center, left knee in towards the chest and lower it down. And this time give your right leg a little, wand on your, a little <laughs> wobble around, move the ankle and take a few deep breaths. When you're ready, inhale to reach your hands up towards the ceiling then exhale to fold. Bend through the legs. Find your halfway lift. 
and then step back to a tabletop position. Okay, so shoulders over the tops of your wrists, hips over the knees, and then we're going to do a couple of cat cows just to help decompress the spine here. So you can untuck the toes, and on your next inhale, drop the belly, puff up the chest, and gaze forward. Stay here. If you find that there's a little bit of compression through your low back, you can move your hand a little bit further away to create some space. Now just breathing in this cow pose, in and out, arms nice and straight. And on your next exhale round, come into your cat pose. Squeeze everything in towards the midline and lift everything away. Create as much distance between the chest and the floor as possible. Take a few breaths here and keep rounding through the upper back. Take one more big breath and then slowly sink your weight back towards your heels. Turn your palms to face up and let everything from the shoulders to the torso sink down into the hips. Let your breath soften. Maybe release a couple of big sighs. And just allow the energy to start to settle. Allow yourself a chance to absorb all of those little wobbles and bits and bobs that we've encountered. Let your body rest. If you need to, if you find this position quite uncomfortable, you're welcome to come into any comfortable seated position here, or even lie down on your back. Now I just want you to turn your attention to your breath. Notice this different energy that it maybe has compared to the start of the class or maybe to five, ten minutes ago or maybe even till this morning. So just notice any change, any shift. And just allow your body to move with each one as it comes and it goes. And let your thoughts take this same pattern. Let them come and let them go. Just let them pass by. And just be in this space as the breath settles, as the mind settles. Let everything start to settle. Allow yourself a chance to absorb all of this practice, the energy from it, the heat, the balance, the focus. And just allow yourself a couple of minutes to let this all decompress, let it settle and neutralize. Give yourself a chance to absorb it before carrying on through the rest of your day. So just let your attention drift inwards. Notice this space that you're in. And let, allow yourself a chance to bring it forward. So if you want to come down to the ground to take a couple of minutes in Shavasana, or as long as you feel like you want to, that's perfectly fine. But this is where I'm going to leave you, in this sort of meditative space, this culmination of your practice. So you can choose whether you want to start to down-regulate, or you want to, if you want to keep this heat, this energy going, then feel free to stay seated and to carry it forward with you. But thank you so much for practicing with me, and I hope to see you again soon. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Om.